In our fast-paced world, the value of practical solutions and time-honored traditions cannot be overstated. Mr. Speaker, last week, the health minister uh, went into a wacko rant accusing parents who take their kids on a road trip of, ro of locking them up in a car for 10 days straight without a washroom break, causing the whole world to burn. Unbelievable. All because we proposed that the government take taxes off gas so that Canadians could have a summer break. Will this health minister break into the same hysteria over his boss's use of a gas-guzzling private jet to vacation all around the world. I will stand for climate change, and so will this party, Mr. Speaker. Think about those cherished family road trips, those adventures that forge unbreakable bonds and weave the fabric of our cultural heritage. When the health minister's comments cast a shadow over these beloved journeys, it feels like an attack on our most precious memories. Pierre Poilievre's bold move to scrap oil taxes resonates deeply with conservative values, championing less government intrusion and more personal freedom. This pushback against the health minister's dismissive wacko rant echoes a broader frustration with the government's overreach and constant fear-mongering. It's not just about policy. It's about the real-world impact on our daily lives. People see through the hypocrisy, where officials preach sacrifice while basking in luxury. This stark contrast between soaring gas taxes and the opulent lives of our leaders strikes a chord, stirring a profound sense of empathy and calling for a reevaluation of what truly matters.